From truck to terrain, each takes less than five minutes to put in place. But every one of those minutes matter, since the team of Texas Tech researchers setting up these stick nets will be racing against a severe storm. Uh, we get out ahead, uh, we'll pull one of the probes out. And, uh, it has a, a separate data acquisition box that we need to, to pull out and also a battery box. We'll stake it into the ground, we'll hook up all the uh, wiring, uh, turn it on and get out of the way. Stick nets are just one set of instruments Texas Tech is taking on the road. It's part two of the verification of the origin of rotation in tornadoes experiment southeast, or Vortex SE. And Texas Tech is again participating in the congressionally mandated project. Congress decided you know, we needed to uh, pay some specific attention to the southeastern tornado problem. Specifically, what, what features are unique to the southeast that influence tornadoes? Vortex SE runs from March until May. Chris Weiss, who's a principal investigator on the project, says it's centered around Huntsville, Alabama. Along with 24 stick nets, which measure temperature, pressure, humidity, and wind, Texas Tech will also add its lightning mapping array sensors to the mix. We're going to try to use uh, these, uh, uh, these platforms to map out the uh, specific uh, the character of, uh, of lightning strikes. So the size, um, the, uh, the channel length, uh, we're going to try to use the, the characteristics of the lightning strike uh, to learn more about the, uh, the parent thunderstorm updraft, uh, which uh, th those processes uh, and, and how those affect the development of tornadoes. The team plans to launch weather balloons too. Uh, that's going to allow us to uh, make measurements of the vertical structure of the atmosphere, uh, specifically how uh, temperature is changing with height, but also other factors like wind uh, and, and moisture content. We says being part of Vortex SE gives his group the opportunity to collaborate with other institutions and federal labs, but that's not all. It's not only are we accomplishing something scientifically, but we're bringing a lot of uh, exposure to the university. And that, that does, that has feedback uh, in terms of recruitment, uh, f not just for students, but also for uh, faculty. I think uh, they see that we have a you know, good uh, uh, research enterprise here at, at Texas Tech University. And uh, these types of projects really, uh, really put Texas Tech on the map. One of the main reasons I came to Texas Tech was the opportunity to go do field work in areas that I was interested in and other areas that maybe weren't even related to my research, such as this project. Aaron Hill, who's a graduate student, will accompany Weiss and two others from Texas Tech on the trip east. They say they'll take what they've learned in past projects and hope to build on it moving forward. How do tornadoes really form? What are the underlying mechanisms that uh, lead them to form? And how do they, how do those maybe differ from storms that don't produce them and what can we learn about the fundamental dynamics of those storms. We're going to try to apply some of the things that we learned in the Vortex 2 project, uh, um, what, what influences tornado uh, development. And we're going to try to apply these things specifically to uh, the southeast, but also we're going to try to learn some new things about the southeastern environment. For example, the role of terrain in the development of tornadoes. And we're going to try to understand uh, some of the, the, the types of storms that produce tornadoes out there. For Texas Tech Today, I'm Allison Hurth.